It is a few meters from Kalande, and from afar, this structure looks like a farm shed. But this is a Kalande primary school annex in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region. A female volunteer is teaching pupils who have showed up today. Help me, my neighbor. This school has only three classes and sometimes four, depending on availability of the pupils. The children don't come on time. When it's a fishing community and when they break, some of them follow their uh, sheep. They send the, the sheep to the bush to graze before they come back and come to school in the fishing community. So when they fish elsewhere, they move to that place. So my, many of them have moved to Mabungu and then other the buyer side. The structure and the conditions here conspire to push the few pupils away from the classroom. Because of the building, they don't want to come. Formerly it was touched. Just last year they came and then put on this structure, this zinc. You see the uniform, we talk of uniform and the community don't help to give them uniform. And as a two child, when you are dressed well, you feel free to come. But look, they don't have school uniform. Some cells don't even wear standards. They come like that. It must be really frustrating working in an environment like this and to accept to continue to be here. For Jakut Ali, it is a huge sacrifice. When school opens, I inform the PT that they should clean the school. I will talk and talk and talk. Only yesterday they came and then did this. Yesterday. And it was the chief and then the PTA chairman, but the youth refused to come. But of course, like many other schools in this municipality, whenever the clouds form, pupils and caretakers have to flee. So as you can see in your picture, the pupils of Kalandia next are having to vacate this mixture structure, which is their classroom, because of course the rains are coming. And this place, looking the way it's looking, definitely no academic work can happen once the rates are coming, so they have to leave. And so once the pupils vacate the makeshift structure, you'd find the teachers left to their fate, trying to salvage what they can in terms of what is left in the classroom. You see them struggling to uh, readjust the blackboard and then the other writing materials in the makeshift classroom. This certainly is not an environment that can promote good learning and deliver any meaningful outcomes.